all righty guys i'm back at it again but i had to do a voiceover because the audio on this phone was straight cheeks i don't know why it's just how they made it i guess but i can't wait till i get better equipment uh but the point of this video is why should you season your water i learned that the first day i went to culinary school the chef instructor gave us a powerpoint and uh you know a verbal uh lesson about seasoning your water no matter if you're working with pastas uh hot dogs a soup you always got to season your water um if you don't then you might have a bland item but um what I noticed yesterday is that my hot dogs were a tad brown and the reason why they were a tad brown because I went heavy on the beef bullion that's what I used to season my water um, you can use a beef bullion a beef stock you can even make your own beef stock if you got the free time to do it uh, but that's what I use maybe is other vendors who use different things in their water or maybe it's some vendors who don't use anything they just put water in their pan and and heat up the hot dogs you know um, I hope not but it's some out here who who does but the reason why I season my water is because it enhanced the, the flavor of the hot dog even though the hot dog had this flavor, it just enhanced it a tad. And also, it spreads an aroma into the air. So when you are walking by, you smell that smell. It's like an amazing smell. And it brings you over to me. You start talking to me. You say, hey, what's on your menu? And then you buy a hot dog and then I make money. So um, having an aroma, other than just a plain hot dog well, well, well you know what i'm saying will help you out in my opinion um because pe people love to smell things right people love a good smelling food item you know so it helps me out when i i have my hot dog stand out i get that beef bouillon in there and then that aroma just takes over um, but yesterday I used too much and I noticed it turned my hot dog a tad brown when, when I was serving my, my last customer. So the reason why I'm making this video is that beef bullion turn, it makes your item turn color. So you have to use a minimum amount. Now yesterday I went extra heavy. And I found out that's not a good thing. Like even though the customer did not speak about the hot dog, it wasn't bad. But you have some people who look with their eyes. The food business start with your eyes, right? So if you have a brown hot dog, your customer may think the hot dog is old, or maybe it's yesterday's hot dog, um, or maybe it been in the water all day. So. Uh, I learned a lesson don't add too much beef bullion because you trying I'm trying to build a brand I want my hot dogs to be the best I want them to look the best I want to use the freshest ingredients so I can't have that I, I don't want no nobody saying yeah I picked up his hot dog but it was brown I think it's old so yeah guys i saw that I, I fixed the situation for next time i know just to use a teaspoon of, of beef bullion i don't have to go heavy on there and also guys before i go if you want to know how to find out if you're eating an old hot dog if the hot dog don't have any snap if the hot dog is green that means it's been in the water way too long if it's mushy moist 
and if it's watery you know that you might be eating an old hot dog a yesterday's hot dog or a hot dog that had been in the water all day so i hope you find this information useful please share subscribe and give your boys a thumbs up i'm out of here peace